Hi, I'm Keith Lee, a Technical Marketing Manager at VMware focused on Tanzu Mission Control. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate the new data protection feature in VMware Tanzu Mission Control. This new feature allows operators to centrally manage data protection across their entire fleet of Kubernetes clusters. Tanzu Mission Control data protection is built on a solid open source foundation using the popular Valero project. Tanzu Mission Control installs and manages the lifecycle of Valero so you don't have to. Instead of operating Valero directly in every cluster, Tanzu Mission Control's UI, CLI, and API allows you to centrally create backups and restores of all your clusters, regardless of where they are located. You can backup and restore clusters, namespaces, and even groups of resources using Kubernetes label selectors. Tanzu Mission Control automatically passes these commands through its cluster agent technology, and Valero executes the backups passing back status, errors, and full backup details. Okay, so let's get into the demo. Here in my production cluster group, I have a few Tanzu Kubernetes grid clusters on vSphere and AWS. Tanzu Mish Control users can take advantage of data protection on any managed cluster, whether it was provisioned by Tanzu Mish Control or is attached, such as TKG, EKS, AKS, GKE, etc. Before I can enable data protection and perform a backup, I need to create an account credential for data protection. An account credential is a cloud provider account which Tanzu Mission Control uses for either lifecycle management of clusters, as seen here, or for data protection as we're going to create now. Creating this allows TMC to create and use S3 buckets to store the backups. You can create one or many data protection credentials. So we give it a name and it will create an AWS CloudFormation stack template. Next, I'll log into my AWS console off screen and create a CloudFormation stack using this template in which it will return an ARN, an Amazon resource name. And there we have a credential created. Now let's enable data protection on a cluster. As we can see, it's showing data protection is not enabled on this cluster. So I click enable data protection and here we select the account credential we just created for data protection. What is happening now is that the Tanzu Mission Control cluster agent on the cluster now sees that data protection is to be enabled and so it installs the extension, which I said earlier, is Valero. Here in the Workloads tab, we can see the Valero extension being installed on the cluster. We now see data protection is enabled on the cluster, and we now have a data protection tab. To demo data protection, I'm going to use an app called Acme Fitness, which comprises of many microservices such as front-end, catalog, cart, payment, etc. We will back up the namespace this app was deployed to, delete the catalog service, which includes a MongoDB on a persistent volume, and then restore it. On the data protection tab, we can create backups and restores. Let's go ahead and create a backup. You can backup the entire cluster, selected namespaces, or use label selectors. So let's backup the Acme Fitness namespace. Set retention to 30 days and give it a name. And now we can see it's processing, and in a few moments it will be ready. On clicking the backup, we get some further details, such as the backup type, if label selectors were used, number of namespaces backed up, and how many volumes were snapshot. So now off screen, I'm going to create a disaster by deleting the catalog service in my Acme Fitness app. On refreshing the page, we can now see we don't have any catalog items in our app. To perform a restore, we select our recent backup and click Restore. For Restore, we have several options. We can restore the entire backup, a selected namespace, or use a label selector. Here we're going to use a label selector to only restore the catalog service. So I want to restore using App, Acme Fit, and Service Catalog. Give it a name. and click Restore. We see the Restore processing, and in a few moments it shall be ready. Restore is complete, so let's check our app, and here we can see the catalog is now restored. That completes this demonstration, and thank you for watching. For more on Tanzu Mission Control, please see tanzu.vmware.com.